Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to look at the Redmi 9 Active by Xiaomi and uh, it seems like a pretty good phone. So let's get into it. So the phone, should you buy it or not? Uh, I think that would be the deciding factor of the phone. It costs 10,000 rupees and you can even get it for lesser uh, right now. So it has got an octa-core CPU uh, by uh, MediaTek which is their Helio G35. It has got a 5000 mAh battery which should be really good in this category uh, plus a 10 watt charger so that's also good. It has a 13 megapixel camera with a 2 megapixel depth. The depth uh, camera I'm going to ignore but a 13 megapixel wide camera is good and you have a large display which is uh, 6.52 inch. It is a IPS LCD but an HD screen which is according to me pretty good um, and the box is pretty simple as you can see. Now let's get into the unboxing. So the first thing is uh, the phone up front and first let me keep the phone aside so that we can see the contents of the box. We'll come back to the phone. First thing which we see is uh, a sim card ejector tool and with that we have got some documentation which is there. Let me quickly keep it aside. And now further you have a cable which is a micro USB. They should have at least given a USB type C but then I again come back to the price point and it's quite fair. The power brick is uh, as I said 10 watt so you get a 10 watt charger with uh, this uh, phone which is also pretty good. So now let's go on to the phone and uh, it, it seems pretty okay. I've got this coral blue color over here. Uh, and uh, I have been using it for some time so that I can review it well and it has got a nice uh, golden kind of uh, texture which goes and becomes blue you got a fingerprint sensor on the back the camera array which looks like the iPhone then on the right of the phone you have got the volume rocker and power button on the left of the phone you have a sim card tray and nothing else on the bottom you have the speaker and microphone grill along with the micro USB type C port. On the top you have the headphone jack. Yes this phone has a headphone jack so that's good. Now let's take off the plastic and I'll keep quiet. Now let's start the phone and I've already set it up so we can jump directly into the home screen. And the first thing which I like about this display is that it's pretty clear plus the notch is on the top near the speaker grill so it's pretty convenient there. Uh, you will not find it hindering into the screen space. Now uh, as I said it's already set up so the phone uh, feels pretty good for its price point. The screen is absolutely uh, very very well lit. Uh, it has got a good brightness and I think it's pretty clear as well. I do not see any challenges but obviously it's not as good as uh, say the S22 Ultra or the iPhone 13 Pro Max but that's not what we are looking for at this price point and as you can see I've cleared all the apps. Now let me do a short kind of a app opening test and it's pretty good. So this phone has nothing in it right now, no content as such but as you can see the apps open up pretty pretty fast so there is no downplay over there in terms of uh, any kind of processing power though if you start playing a game it will probably uh, be not as good as uh, say the top phones out there. Now if I go into the settings uh, the about phone M MIUI version reads 12 that's good Redmi 9 it's got 4 GB of RAM and an octa core processor it's got 64 GB of onboard storage uh, no expandable storage and Android version is 10 that is something which is uh, not acceptable according to me but frankly if you are at this price point I don't think you would be uh, wanting to go for a Android 13 or something so we know where uh, Redmi has automatically cut costs okay now in the camera uh, and it's pretty interesting you have got HDR you have got an AI which they are uh, marketing as well. So the AI camera is pretty good. You have uh, these filters also uh, along with a beauty mode 
let's uh, jump into the settings also before that there are various uh, aspect ratios which you can choose from to click your photographs and now under settings you have got uh, quite a lot of things like you have picture quality which you can choose basically the file size of the photo then you have uh, focus and shoot you have uh, this customizing layout so that is also pretty interesting it's it's practically like a one plus in some things uh, so like a very cheaper version of the one plus and you have portrait mode you have night mode you also have tilt shift which we'll look at uh, you have uh, pro mode pretty interesting you have uh, video obviously at 1080 uh, 30 fps it maxes out at that but you have a lot of things which are uh, pretty good according to me and i think it makes sense to have this phone at this price point and this is the tilt shift so you can look at it you got a circle orientation and a parallel uh, very very similar to what you have on the one plus now let's test out the camera also i have the subject in front of me and i have turned on ai mode and hdr so we'll see how the photo is but it zooms to 10x so that's clear over there let's uh, look at the photograph as well and uh, we'll see how well it's done so as you can see uh, it is a pretty crisp photograph you can also see all the marks uh, which are there on the sticker so i think it's pretty good uh, it's a good camera it's not a very cheap or a very bad camera at this price point i think it's done pretty well now the next one is uh, the speaker test and it has got only one bottom firing speaker uh, it does not have a dual setup like uh, all the flagships have but i think it's a pretty loud speaker let's listen to it and i'll keep quiet so that you can hear the speakers for the ax3 model and i did a video i will link that in the description on the walk around uh, the basic features and pros and cons of the car comparing it with the x5 and the x7 today we are going to detail it further and talk about the adreno x etc before we do that do subscribe to the channel click the bell icon so those were the speakers and i think uh, it was a pretty good sound test uh, the speaker is pretty loud but yes uh, if you if you want to cover it you can absolutely manage to do that now let's do another thing let's go on to the battery and it's a 5000 mah battery very very interesting so let's dive into that as well so in the battery life setting you can see that the phone is at 85% and it is still showing that it will last for 22 hours and 22 minutes i mean that is amazing it it is easily a two day phone maybe a two and a half day phone you have ultra battery saver and a normal battery saver as well uh which increases the battery life further so i would say that this is um a really good battery life for 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 a phone at this price point uh 5000 mah is uh, what you get with flagships normally but uh this phone offers that which is good another good feature about this phone is that it has a fingerprint sensor a rear mounted fingerprint sensor it's not uh under screen or optical or anything but it's fast and i really like the placement it is uh, very apt according to me and i think it's a good feature to have very well done over here jaomi at this price point so overall i think uh, they have done a really good job at this price point in this package and i am pretty impressed it has other features like you can calibrate the screen and all of that still remains so uh, it's a it's a very customizable kind of a ui which uh, xiaomi has put here apart from that uh, you have a lot of things like you know as some special features like if you do not want to have adaptive brightness that's fine but when you go into the sun it automatically increases you have got uh, dark mode which is also good and that too on android 10 so you need to keep that in mind so this was the review of the redmi 9 active and i think at this price point this phone is really good so i definitely recommend it also if you have any queries let me know down in the comment section and as usual thanks for watching